Well, by 1998, you actually decided to become a Crip. Yeah. Now, at that time, I guess there were a lot of bloods in the yeah. prison you were in? Yeah. So you decided to sort of go against that and become a Crip? Because I don't like, I, I never liked the bullies. You know what I'm saying? What happened was, like I explained this to um, Miss Charm, um, at that time, there was a there was an uh, individual there that he wasn't Crip no more. He had became Muslim on Rikers Island, and they gave their word that uh, everything was going to be good as long as he stayed Muslim. And then when he came upstate, he came to Sing Sing, some people was plotting to do something to him. The same people that gave their word on Rikers Island. So I told him, "Yo, you come outside. Don't worry about that. I ain't gonna, ain't nothing gonna happen to you." So he said, "Yo, I, I'm just ain't trying to get a bunch of people involved, especially the Muslims. You know what I'm saying? That's my beef. I don't really want to get nobody involved." So I told him, "All right." So, so the next day, I think he came out, and we went. He came out with me, and we walked around the yard. Nothing happened to him. So then when we went back, I told him, "Listen." I want you to give me everything you got on Crip. Paperwork, codes, books, anything you got to break down things about Crip. So he said, what you going to do that for? What, what you want all that for? And I told him, because I'm going to be Crip tomorrow. He said, how you going to be Crip tomorrow? Nobody, you can't just do that. I said, what you mean? I can do that. Who going to tell me I can't do it? You know what I'm saying? That's how the beginning of thing. That's how that whole beginning of Crip thing came. So I was never officially Crip, but I just did that because I, I felt, Don, you can tell me I can't live in the, in the yard, or you can tell me that I can't be Crip. You know what I'm saying? But I never had that problem. Okay, and you were affiliated with the Rolling 30s? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that, that's what I am, Rolling 30s. Okay, once you became a Crip, did anything change? You know, you, you know, a few problems here and there, but nothing major. I've been in a situation where I, I came out to the yard, and this is this is factual, known things about you know the word of mouth all through the state. I came out to the yard one time and put a knife on the table, and told them, dudes, yo, I'm in the building. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, if anybody want got an issue. I'll go gun to gun with them. So, you know, nobody took that offer, you know? And then, like, a lot of, a lot of Don moves that was, that I knew from back then. So you gotta remember, a lot of, these, a lot of Don moves that was older, we came up together. We know each other since we was kids. You know, like, my man Sobe, Shaquel, you know, uh, Is, these are no name brand of guys that was at that time was official guys. And we got, we came up together. So it's not like no big secret that some of them was my friends at one time or another. You no. Know? So they wasn't allowed nobody to jump me. If anything, if they was in the facility, they made sure that if it had to be that way, that I'll get a fair one with anybody. But a lot of people didn't want that fair one because they they already knew I had a reputation for stabbing people. I've been in a couple of knife fights in jail. So they ain't want that. You know what I'm saying? So they left me alone. And while I was in the jail, any crips that came through, they was claiming their thing. That's what I was telling them. They, they could survive. Because I wouldn't allow nobody to do nothing to them if they came claiming they set from the beginning. You know? So, and that went on like that for a while. But I've been stabbed by by certain people, you know, and I, you know, but I come with the territory, you know. <laughs>